If I, if for, if I, the fuckers don't. If I fuckers that don't get what, what the void, what the fucking void is all about. What is the void? I've been asked that question so many times now. And every time I go to answer it, I have to think a little bit more because it's, it's undefinable. You know, it's, I can define what it is for me, but I can't define what it is for you. You know, it's, it's, many lifters can relate to, you know, using, digging your hands into the chalk. And there's a state of, of, of being when you're, when you're chalking your hands up and you're getting ready for the lift. There's, there's a point in time where you, you start to be who you want to become and you transform during that time. And the, you know, the, the time between that chalk box and the lift that you're gonna make, regardless of what the lift is, there's, begins this process of you becoming a different version of you. It may be a better version, a more aggressive version, or worse version. It's just a different version. And using that version, person, yourself to do things that you otherwise probably couldn't do. So it's, you know, now I can't do the same movements I did when I was competitively lifting, but when it was max effort work and it was the squat, bench and deadlift, and it was, you know, competitions, it was, it was straining to, to make that, that weight, you know, to the weight that I never lifted before. It's, it's putting yourself in a physical state where you're not scared of shit. You know, you can take the weight out and it can feel like a fucking million pounds, but in your mind, you know you can still do it. You know, it's, there, there's nothing in your mind. The only thing in your mind is a void. You know, it's, it's, it's following through and attacking and doing what you're there to do. And, it can be any challenge that's put in front of you through training that's going to push you to the edge physically and mentally because there's a certain point where it for me there's a certain point before i even begin the set that i mentally check out i'm no longer there i'm gone you know any problems i have at work is gone any problems i have in life is gone you know any adversity's gone it's all fucking gone you know the only thing that's there is the fucking weight and and pushing as hard as i possibly can until i can't move that fucker anymore and many times i don't know how many repetitions it's going to be for that set i don't i don't know what transpires between the time i hit the chalk and the time this set's over it was that way when i was powerlifting i don't know you know, somebody has to tell me what happens because my mind is somewhere else. And that somewhere else is fucking awesome because it's nothing, you know, it's, it's, it's a void. It's, it's, it's freedom, you know, it's, it's, it's peace. It's my way to deal with, with all the bullshit. And, you know, the follow-up question is how do you put your mind in that state? Everybody's different with that as well. I'm different with that a lot of times. And it's never the same. Sometimes I'll just focus on certain events that have happened in my life, trauma, adversity, things that piss me off. So I put my, I put my mind into such a state of aggressiveness that I, I'll physically be shaking. And that's how I'll enter the set, you know, just a complete madness. You know, other times I'll just enter it as calm as I possibly can in a meditative state, you know, other times I'll put on some of the dumbest music that anybody would ever think somebody would listen to trying to do a heavy weight only because I know what's going to drive other people fucking crazy if they knew what I was listening to, because what you listen to has nothing to do with the effort you put into the fucking weight, nothing. So I love being able to hit a set, 
kill myself and end up laying on the floor. You can't breathe. People got to help you up. You piss yourself and you're, you want to vomit. You, you just, your state is awful. And then people come over and pick up your headphones and they listen and it's Christina Aguilera. You know, it cracks me up. You know, it's like, you need to listen to this hardcore stuff, you're a puss. You know, you should be able to listen to anything, you know, to be able to push the limits and, and to get to that state. Um, some people, you know, need to think more positive thoughts. You know, for me, that, that doesn't work. You know, other ways that I've gotten to that physical state is if it's an injury or if I'm coming back from an injury, I will mentally, mentally picture in my mind and focus on the worst case scenario, the worst thing that can happen. You know, and this is advice that I give to some of our lifters even today, is when I was coming back from pec surgery, I'm not gonna lie, I was scared to bench. You know, it took me a couple of meets to kind of get my mojo back to be able to learn how to bench. You know how I learned how to bench? is instead of trying to focus on all the mechanics of the bench and what I had to do right, because by the time I got to the meet, that shit should be taken care of anyhow. I sat there in, on, on the deck and looked at the plates and just stared at the plates for four or five lifters out, closed my eyes, and I visualized taking the bar out of the rack, holding it for a second, and having both of my packs tear off and the bar come down and smash me in the fucking face and blood flying everywhere, EMTs coming in, paramedics coming in, having to go to the hospital. And I mean, all of this vividly, vividly pictured in my mind. So that way, when I got under the bar and I grabbed the bar, I was scared shit. The fear was beyond fear. So as soon as I took it out of the rack and I held it and my elbows bent, the number one thing I wanted done is to get that fucking weight off my chest as fast as I could. Bam, you know, PR after PR for the next year. Because I learned how to embrace the fear. I learned how to use the fear, you know, and from that, you know, I learned that fear can put me in that void state to where, you know, I hit the chalk box and then there's nothing. I don't think of nothing, nothing happens. You know, it's just empty and now, with challenge sets and more rep type training, it's the same thing. It's just pushing to the limit and pushing as hard as you possibly can. And there's a time in your mind, you know, everybody's human, there's a time in your mind when you're gonna wanna quit. And you do another rep, then you do another rep. And yes, it's gonna burn, yes, it's gonna hurt. Yes, everything in your body's gonna tell you to quit. But you keep going, that shuts down. It stops and your mind stops telling you anything. You just go. And within those seconds, that's what I'm talking about. That's the void. That's earned, not given.